I've been wanting to do this quick case study summary session with you since this morning. But um, as you might know, I work from home and we had some work going on this morning with a lot of drilling. So I, have to, I had to wait till everyone was out to be able um, to talk to you. And I'm doing this streaming from Zoom to Facebook, so I'm not, I might not be able to see your comments right away, but please do leave them um, because I want to share some content and share my um, screen, which I can't do easily via Facebook. Guess what? Last time I stopped sharing my screen and it all died. So I wanted to talk to you about, we run a lot of one-on-one um, -on -one coaching sessions, pretty much 60 minute coaching sessions. And at the moment we're running some for Queensland for the Digital Ready program. So you might have seen me before on my deck or Liz or Claire or any of our coaches. And a lot of, um, a lot of times, probably 80% of the times we realize that tourism operators want to address one issue, but the overarching issue is really a global distribution, a global strategy, marketing and online marketing strategy. And the first question I ask businesses is, what do you want to achieve? Why are you doing all this work on Facebook? Why are you doing all this work on your website? But how do you actually realize if your efforts of writing a newsletter or creating Facebook content are converting into buyers? And then I always bring it back to uh, the marketing funnel. So I wanted to show you that because it's a concept that is often forgotten or maybe not explained too well. So now let me find the right piece of content, which is right here. And I'll zoom out a bit. Okay, so this is a beautifully designed, I say that because I've I've built it in Canva, um, digital marketing system for tourism. So think about all the activities that you're currently doing. You know, you might be doing Facebook or Facebook ads and, and focusing on engagement. You might be going to a trade show. Like I had this lovely lady this morning from central Queensland um, running an attraction in a small destination. You know, she wanted to know what she could, what she could do to get more traction with a Facebook ad. So any marketing that you do, you literally just put that effort at the very, very top of the funnel. And your end goal will generally be a sale. If you work in a tourism organization and you're not actually selling anything, but you're selling the destination, your end goal will be, I guess, um, developing an email list of consumer or getting your operators more engaged, basically proving to them that your existence is worthwhile for your destination. The mistake that people make a lot of the times is that they want to go from here straight to there. But there's many steps that are required in order to be able to make that sale. And these are the steps that are part of your marketing systems, uh, your marketing system that are often not explained. You might think, all right, let's do a Facebook book ad, push people to our website and bang, they'll convert into a booking. That might only happen for 5% of the time. But what do you do with the other 95% of the people that hit your website and leave without taking any, any action? So what I wanted to show you today is really the steps that you should be able uh, to take in order to ensure that the leads that come to your website have got all the chances to convert into sales. And if you're running a Facebook ad or a, an online campaign or anything at the moment that is sending people to your website, just remember that only about 5%, if you're lucky, are going to buy right away. But all the 95% of people that don't buy right away, what are you going to do with them? What is the number one thing that you need to do so that you can continue the discussion with them later? And that first thing you need to do is ensure your website content establishes trust. So if you send someone to your website and the page doesn't establish trust, doesn't have a good design, doesn't answer all the possible questions they might be asking themselves from clicking on that link to get to your website, they're just going to leave. So that's a waste of your time and dollars. Then you need to demonstrate excellent online customer service. A great way to do this is just with live chat. You'll see lots of people come to you on your website uh, while they're working 
and they don't want to call you. They don't want to send an online form. They don't know how then, got, when they're going to hear back from you and they don't want to book. So an online chat is a really easy way for them to chat to you um, and make that first contact. Then you want to really give them an unrefusable offer. So if you think about a tourism business, I've seen a lot at the moment that are offering people, let's say a discount, or it would be much better if it was an extra bottle of wine or extra value add, if they book um, direct. So the unrefusable offer, if you're an accommodation business, a tour business, an attraction, would be something that they would receive against giving you their email address and potentially answering a few questions to allow you to segment them into a specific area of your database. So for example, the lady I was talking to this morning, she had um, different target markets. They were the gray nomads and they were families. So if she has an unrefusable offer on her website, for example, download the three things to do in region X when you visit next or three best things to do, a quick PDF download, very simple. She will ask them for their email address. When are you thinking about visiting next? And do you identify yourself as grey nomads or families? That way, the next step is when you start your marketing automation. That marketing automation would be able to be really targeted to the um, type of person you're sending it to. The last thing you want to do is have a boring subscribe to our email address box at the bottom of your website and do not ask any questions about segmentation and send everyone a monthly newsletter with 20 calls to action because if you do that it's just like having a big billboard on the side of the highway and the the apart from a branding exercise the sale is not going to be uh, be there at the end so i'd like you to think about this marketing system for your business. If you're getting a new website built, if you're thinking about doing Facebook ad, there is no point not having an unrefusable offer or what would be called a lead magnet, a landing page, a pop-up, because what's going to happen is you might only get the 5% direct sales and the 95% of the people that are not likely to convert are just going to vanish and you will not be able to continue communicating to them via email. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. It's a crucial component. I have not seen it taught um, in Australia or anywhere else. It's not something your web developer will be talking to you about because their job is to design websites. It might not be something um, your friend that got a brand new website built is going to talk to you about either. It's really in of the realm of digital marketing strategy for tourism. So I've got this picture on our blog. And if you want to have a look and think about it, um, I really urge you to do that because remember, it's not about the 5%, but what are you doing with the 95% of the people that are not converting? If you want to continue this conversation, feel free to have a chat um, or comment underneath our my video that's going to appear here um, and ask any question that you may have. If you want to know the different tools that you can use for marketing automation, we're not talking about a very old email system that's integrated to your website. We're talking about state-of-the-art marketing automation platforms that really don't cost a mint, probably cheaper than what your web company may have sold to you. But in the last two, three years, this development has really, is doing things that you can't even comprehend for your business and that's where you need to be looking. All right, I think the kids are gonna be back soon, so I better go and leave you, but I hope you found this valuable. Bye.